everyone welcome back to my channel so this is part two of my Halloween stash now this is not all of my Halloween stash as I mentioned uh, in part one um, I decided to put some of my Halloween stash aside so I can use uh, for this year for Halloween paper crafting and beyond this way I don't get overwhelmed um, and uh, before warned you may hear my cat Sophia in the background uh, she is quite talkative and uh, she loves to play and she also may make an appearance but right now she is sitting on her cat tree next to my desk. I figure this is a, a great time to make a video. So for, for this video um, I'm going to be showing you some of my felt shapes that I had put aside for projects. Um, now uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. In comparison to foam um, stickers and felt shapes, I actually prefer the felt shapes over the foam stickers. I'm not a big fan of foam stickers generally. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to show you guys what I had put aside. So this little purple container, um, again from Dollar Tree, you can probably still find these in their back to school section at the store so let's open this up um, this pack of foam uh, or foam felt shapes I had purchased from uh, Dollar Tree this year for these kitty cats now they did come in pumpkins and ghosts and the black cats I chose just the black cats to use there's 12 pieces in here so yes, these are brand new for this year at Dollar Tree. Sorry about the glare, guys. And <clears throat> also these um, foam shamrocks, they're calling them. They're glittered. Um, these are not found in their Halloween section. These were found in their St. Patty's Day um, section. This actually, I actually purchased in their um, kids section. Or a kids crafting section. I still had some left, so I picked those up. I figure I can use these and alter these for um, for any projects. Uh, these remind me of witches' cauldrons. That's why I purchased them for. Um, here's another glittered foam bat piece which I got from Dollar Tree in purple glitter I'm planning on altering this putting that on a package and there's some little felt uh, flowers here there's some cat hair here <laughs> um, these I don't know if you can see that these I got from Dollar Tree as well so I use these for layering, um, these felt spiders, which I got from Michael's. Um, <clears throat> these pieces are actually these foam, they're actually stickers actually. Um, these I don't mind because they're black. Uh, or all black. I got these from Target many many years ago when Target did exist here in Canada. By the way, Target only lasted here in Canada for two years before all the stores closed. I guess they didn't do very well up here in Canada. And here's a glittered pumpkin. I don't know if you could see that. Or Jack Lantern. I just have to pop up the, um, the foam pieces here. <clears throat> Here's the same one in orange, orange glitter, and they're quite thick actually. I think I bought these in their, I guess their dollar section, which I think the, it's known as the their bullseye section that right now, but I miss Target guys. Um, yeah, Target for me was um, unique in, in comparison to the other stores. That we have here in Canada um, and it's just sad that they closed down um, but um, yeah I was um, 
I was hoping they would last a little bit longer to pick up any more Halloween uh, crafty supplies from there. <clears throat> but um, anyways, that's a long story. Um, so yeah, these little um, these um, spider shapes again from Dollar Tree. And these little guys are from Michaels. Uh, they had they were selling these uh, quite a few seasons ago, actually. <clears throat> I absolutely love these. My friend Elizabeth Late, I believe, had uh, g given me these um, that year at my Michaels. They didn't have them, so these were found in their kids' uh, crafting section. I absolutely love these. They're so cute. I think the bats are my favorite, actually. There's a pumpkin. And these are great for paper clips. And actually these, and there's the last one. I put aside. I don't know if you could see that. Um, <clears throat> and these two witch hats are from Dollar Tree. I have quite a bit of these in my stash. Um, this spiderweb shape is from Michaels. I like to use these as layering pieces for wands. And I have these doilies, felt doilies in my stash. Um, I'm going to use these for a Pestaloween. So there's different shades of pink. And actually these are from Michaels. They're, they're actually coasters. But again, using these for layering pieces to make wands with. I only have a couple of these left. Um, and these stickers... These bats are from Dollarama. I think these are cute. Um, these are more on the foam side of stickers, but I think they're cute. Yeah, I'm very picky when it comes to foam stickers, guys. So. And these are from Dollar Tree, these pumpkins. I like to decorate these with uh, bags or um, for Happy Mail. And this foam, happy foam shape is from Dollarama. I only have a couple of these left. I bought these years ago. I'm not sure if Dollarama still sells these. But. And again, more of these pumpkin shapes. These little flower shapes I like to use for um, layering. And last are these um, two large size bats, black felt bats, which I hauled from Dollarama. I'm probably going to be using these to decorate some Happy Mail with. So yeah, those are the foam shapes and stickers I'm planning on using this year for crafting. Anyways, um, that is my video. This is part two. Stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.